Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all having a great morning so far. I am having an awesome morning. We pulled the mattress out onto the living room floor and watched Star Wars movies last night until about midnight and uh, had a great sleep actually. Uh, we uh, only brought the top um, mattress out, not the box spring, so it's easy for Maggie to get up onto the bed and have cuddles, because she's getting a little old for jumping up onto the super tall, you know, box spring and mattress on top of a frame. That's a little high for her. Um, she's getting a little old. So, uh, we try to, you know, we try to not encourage her to do big jumps like that, that but she's even just not really interested in it. So, it was a nice treat last night to have Star Wars movies and Maggie cuddles in bed. Um, that makes for a good sleep. And I honestly can't remember any dreams whatsoever, which, that's a good thing. So, um, before we get started here, I want to wish a happy birthday to Jay Blagden of Jay's Hot Sauces. Uh, if you've been watching this channel and, uh, you've been watching those Vancouver-made sauces from Jay, um, he's made the wasabi horseradish sauce, the bacon bourbon sauce, the cherry Thai chili, I believe it was, uh, pineapple mango habanero, um, sorry, pineapple habanero, mango habanero. There's been so many really good sauces. Um, well, they've all been great sauces, and uh, Jay's such a great guy. He also made that hot sauce holster that I considered using for this video, but I'm in the shop and I don't need a hot sauce holster out here and you wouldn't <clears throat> really necessarily even be able to see it so I figured I'd just leave it inside there and give him a nice birthday shout out. Um, he's a really nice guy when I talk to him about his sauces he's really easy to talk to, um, very informative and uh, he seems to be a very very talented guy. He seems to have his his hands into a lot of different types of hobbies and skill trades and, and such and uh, I think that's pretty cool for sure. So happy birthday Jay, hope you have a great day today, hope you're having a great week and thank you so much for your support on this channel, all of your well, amazing <laughs> hot sauces and uh, and that, that super hot sauce that you made too, the, the No Way I think it was called. These are all so good and uh, I'm so stoked that I've been able to sample them and use them at home here. Uh, they don't last long in the fridge, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, we only, I think we have three in the fridge and we just reviewed two of them like a week ago or so. <laughs> they, uh, they go fast, they're delicious sauces, so I can't recommend enough, especially if you're in Canada or the British Columbia area or even especially down in Vancouver. You might be able to meet him in person or something. I'm not sure what the guidelines are or what his preferences are, but I will leave a link in the description box down below so you can get a hold of Jay. He's a great guy. So anyways, um, I don't usually like to, we could call it cross-pollinate the uh, videos with different companies, but it is Jay's birthday today and I, I would have done a uh, review to Jay's sauce today if I had a sealed one to open up, but I don't. And, uh, and I had another review planned for today anyway. So we're gonna go ahead with that one, which is another good friend who makes sauces and uh, is, is not a stranger to this channel either. So today we're gonna be reviewing another sauce from Monty at Butt Burns. He is the president of Sons of Fire Australia and he's a really nice guy. Um, these sauces, well this and the one other sauce and the tincture were gifted to us from Joe and Lo at Tao's Hum Hot Sauce. So there we go, we're triple cross-pollinating this review um, because they sent this sauce to us. Um, that was so kind, so generous of them. So make sure you t check out Tao's Hum Hot Sauce as well. I'm going to leave a link to them in the description box down below. We're all friends. We can share each other's links on each other's videos, I think, right? Um, this one is called Face Melter. Now, from what I understand from what Monty told me, this is the hotter of the two sauces. I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, I will read you the... Actually, before I read you the ingredients, I want to show you the label. That is Monty and his face is melting. I think that is a super cool label. Really cool lettering there too. Um, it's all just melting. The, the fade from yellow to orange to black is very neat as well. 
Um, the ingredients are a little bit hard to read because they're in the darker portion of the label, but that's okay. We can hold that up to the light and we will do just fine with that. Um, show you the color of the sauce too. It's a really nice colored sauce. A nice, rich, sort of bright red. It's a pretty like almost orange. It looks kind of pale on the monitor there, but it's a pretty, pretty vibrant orange. Uh, nicely pureed sauce. I really like that. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of bits of anything in there. Um, Monty has told me that this is a thicker sauce so that it doesn't run off of burgers and hot dogs. So uh, I appreciate the heads up on that. Oh, I just noticed that his pupils are full of fire as well. I didn't notice that until just now. That's very cool. I like that. Um, I'll read you the ingredients here. The ingredients are Carolina Reapers, habaneros, onions, capsicum, which I, I, uh, is bell peppers. I, uh, I wasn't sure whether that was like extract spice or bell peppers. So I asked Monty and that's what he told me. He says, it's what you folks refer to as bell peppers. Then we have carrots, garlic, tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, salt, and xanthan gum. So I did give this a very good shaky shake before we started filming, but give it another one just to be sure here. And Monty was kind enough to give me a heads up that I will need a knife to open these, which is fine, because I always use a knife to open them anyways, just so that I can avoid not struggling on camera. Oh yeah, I really like this too. That's a classy looking shrink wrap. And it's nice, thick material. This is solid stuff. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It broke right along the cap there, so I can keep it on there for now. Probably end up removing that later, but I really dig that gold stamped, uh, whatever that is. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a grapevine. There we go. Very cool. So anyways, I'm going to open this up. and remove the flow restrictor. I really like, I don't know, I've never seen a flow restrictor like this before. Um, well, I mean, except for on the other bottle. A big, it's a wider neck bottle on these ones and uh, a different style of flow restrictor. But we don't need no flow restrictor. Ooh, that smells good. The vinegar. I'm picking up the onion and the, the bell pepper in there. Mmm, that smells really good. Definitely smelling the tomatoes in there? Yeah, tomatoes. Ooh, wow, that smells really good. Of course, I'm not going to tame this sauce. I'm going to be using my... Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Mother of Pearl Hot Sauce Tasting Spoon. You can get this from johnnyscoville.com or deathnuts.com. Stay. Let's give it a pour. I'm excited about this. I really like the other sauce that we reviewed from Monty, the Yes It Does. Give it the little tap, the little finger tap on the top. It uh, It's slow going, but it works. It does the trick. I think. He said to be careful with it because once it starts flowing, it flows. Come on. I can see what he means. There we go. Shake it out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a that is actually a more more of a pale colored orange red than it looks like in the bottle. 
Looks like we lost a tiny little drop there. I like the consistency of this. Like he says, it's a nice, thick consistency. Look at how it stands up and holds its shape on that spoon. That's a thick sauce. I mean, it's not overly thick, but it's... I like that consistency. That's nice, and it's got a really nice, um, clean complexion to it. It looks really smooth. Looks like it's picking it up on the monitor, but sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes it looks better on the monitor than it does when I upload it. I don't know. <laughs> Technology's funny. So, from Butt Burns in Australia, sent over from Tao's Hum Hot Sauce from Joe and Lowe, this is Face Melter. Heat my shorts. Really nice sweetness up front. You get that sweetness followed by a little bit of a sting that is creeping in more and more. I'm tasting that tomato, the onion. Not necessarily tasting carrot. Carrot's probably adding to the consistency and the color. Mmm. It's got a kick to it. I can feel my face sweating from that already. That has definitely got a kick to it. The bell peppers come through really nicely on that as well. Pour a little bit easier this time, maybe. Usually the first pour is the hardest pour out of the bottle. Come on. <laughs> Here it comes. Monty, this is really good, buddy. This is really good. That's cool. I mean, it's hot, but I really like how that piece hangs off the end of the spoon. That's a good consistency sauce. I think that the xanthan gum in there also adds to that consistency. I can feel it burning on my lips now. That's a good burn. Let's get into it a little bit more. Tasting more of the Reaper on this one. Well, the super hot pepper, I could say. Not specifically the Reaper. I'm not um, well acquainted enough with all those peppers yet to be able to pick out which super hot I'm tasting. Where is it? There it is. That's got, got me sweating. Quite a bit there from two spoonfuls of sauce. I can feel it all through here now. My beard is all all wet. Um, not quite on the top of my head yet. Maybe a little bit. A little bit of perspiration going on up there. Not too much though. This is really good. Let's talk about the heat on this actually before I put it away and do the Maggie hangout. Um, heat on this for me right now. I am at a. I want to say a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, I think that gets me to a 4 out of 10. And that's saying something. Those aren't huge spoonfuls. That's good. I like this. Um, if you were new to eating spicy things, this would, be, this would be so hot. This would be a 10 out of 10, I'm going to say. Um, if you're really into this stuff, though, you know, it can be anywhere from a... A 2 out of 10 if you're really, really giving her with the challenges, or, yeah. It's hard to say, right? Um, I say it's a 4 out of 10 on my heat scale. But it could be anywhere from a 2 to a 10, depending on where you're at. Uh, I'm curious how Monty would rate this as a, as a heat rating. It's always nice to hear other people's opinion on heat ratings, flavors, everything. I really dig this sauce. I'm really into this. Um, it's got a great kick to it. Great kick. And a great flavor, great consistency. Like he said, burgers and hot dogs, for sure. This will be a very versatile sauce because it's very pepper forward. 
If you like the taste of Reapers, which you kind of have to like that super hot taste and that super hot burn if you're going to enjoy a sauce like this. And if you're into that, you'll find this to be very versatile. This would be so good on eggs, like scrambled eggs. Yeah, this would be so good on that. Any sort of a breakfast, uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, let's be honest. Soup and sandwiches. Yeah, you can put this on any sort of sandwich, I'm sure. Um, what else? Rice dishes. Noodles, yeah, into some like ramen style dishes or macaroni style, like uh, noodle dishes, mac and cheese type of dishes. Um, heck, you could put this into so much stuff. I dig it. I really dig it. Great job on this, Monty. And thanks for all your help in getting this review together with all the information and um, what to watch for and uh, to watch out for the the avalanche of sauce and uh, to refrigerate it afterwards. He gave me like a good rundown on the sauce and what to expect and how to deal with it. So that's really cool. It really saves um, errors in the review. Like if I didn't know that I needed a knife and I'm struggling with it for five minutes, that's annoying and that takes a lot out of the review. So that's really cool that he goes the extra mile when I didn't even, I didn't even like, well ask, actually ask him about the, um, the capsicum, but all the other stuff. He's just like, just a wealth of information. He, he's not afraid to share it, which is really cool. Really easy to talk to. Great guy. Um, yeah. I'm gonna set this here and tilt this camera down a little bit. There's Maggie. Oh, and she's laying right beside our overwintered peppers. You can see there's four of them there. Go hang out with her here. Hey, Maggie. We have two, two Carolina Reaper plants here and two Peach Ghost plants that are uh, chopped back and overwintered. Le <clears throat> Pardon me, got a little bit of a sting in the throat there. Lady Shorts did that for us, actually. I, I had no part in that. I can't remember which day that was, whether that was when I was in class and she took care of the peppers and put them in the paper bags, I believe yesterday or the day before. But she's been so awesome. Yeah, she chopped these four back to overwinter them. I think these might be the only ones that we are overwintering. I'm not sure about that because she did all the work, to be honest. So I'm a little bit out of the loop. I was doing other stuff, but that's pretty awesome. Another really exciting thing, uh, she also purchased uh, for us a food dehydrator, one of those stackable ones. So now we can dehydrate our own pods. We don't have to borrow a dehydrator. We can dehydrate all sorts of stuff now. We could make jerky if we wanted to. Dehydrate our, our herbs from our garden. Pretty awesome. Pretty exciting stuff. Makes food processing and storing a lot easier. Right, Maggie? Maggie? <laughs> just a little leg kick. That's how she asks for tummy rubs. Just a little leg kick. Yeah. Can you do a high five? Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Yeah. So anyways, I am not sure what time it is here. I know it's after 9 o'clock. My guess is 9.30. So I should probably wrap this video up and go get ready for class because class is at 10 and I do not want to be late or scrambling to be ready for it. Um, it's always a little bit hectic when you're logging in and your camera's not on yet because you're still getting all your stuff ready and missing what workbook you're in or what page you're on. Luckily it's not like high school where you storm in the room at the last minute and disrupt the teacher. You just quietly enter the room. But anyways, like I said, gonna wrap this video up. Once again, happy birthday Jay from Jay's Hot Sauce. Um, Monty at Butt Burns, great job on this sauce and thank you for all the information that you provided. Joe and Lo from Tower's Hum Hot Sauce, thank you so much for sending these products over for us to review and enjoy. Um, you're such wonderful people. Uh, not just Joe and Lo, but all of you. Jay and Monty and every single one of you. I love you all and I'm so grateful that you're here watching any portion of this video. It really means a lot to me. Uh, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and uh, 
check out these uh, new things. I don't know, do you notice all the things that I'm hiding in the corner now? Is that making it easier to navigate through the channel and find similar videos and things like that? I think it looks pretty cool anyway. It looks more professional, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So anyways, over 20 minutes again, butt burns, face melter. I had to look at the back of it. I forgot what it was called there. Um, give this sauce a try if you haven't already. And if you have, let us know in the comment section what you thought of it. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. Bye-bye.